Once you have an idea of the impact to your business, then you can start prioritizing your resources. So look at business unit priorities. Go back again and ask what business functions are the most important because we've just looked at them as critical portions of our business process. We've ranked them both in tangible and intangible values. So we want to come back and look at our prioritized list. Then we take our business continuity planning budget and we allocate the first chunk of money we have to the most important business function. What we're trying to do is allocate a limited amount of our budget to address and ensure the continuity of our top business function. Then we go and cover the second most important business function. And we keep going until one of two things happens. We can either finish out our list so that we have every business function covered, or we can use the reality method and we can keep going till we run out of money. At some point, we're probably going to run out of budget and we're going to have to say, well, we can ensure the top six business processes are going to continue and anything after that is beyond our budgetary concerns. Consider, again, both qualitative and quantitative risk priority rankings. So not only are we supposed to cover the risks that are going to cause big money damages to us, but also make sure you cover the risks that could cause loss of customer trust because that may have even more of a long-term effect.